spoilers. We are going to be talking about spoilers, guys. Spoilers. So if you have not checked out our regular review, be sure to check it out on our YouTube channel, guys. And let's get right to it. Cloud, what was your rating of this of this uh, Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Badness? 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. And that was a 9 out of 10. So let's get that into perspective there right away. This is a weird. I'm telling you, man. Something changed here. The the we're in another multiverse where I'm higher than than Juan, dude. This never happened before in a Marvel movie. But let's get right to it. So, um, Cloud, we're gonna go straight in. We're gonna talk about the major thing here, of course, and talk about because you know have way more knowledge than I do about this, um, which is Illuminati. Tell us what it, what it what is it for? I mean, what what's going on here? So what those characters? The comics okay. are from different universes who like make a board. And kind of protect the <laughs> yeah. multiverse. Yeah. In this movie, it was all the guys from the same universe. Yeah. Like, okay. I wanted to confirm that. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That's what it seemed like. At yeah. Least. At least. Yeah. So it was everyone from the same universe. Okay. Which is eight one two. They call it. Yeah. Okay. They call it R six one six, like in the comics. The main universe is that one. Okay. Um, there was no Iron Man, which was a big one. They replaced it for Reed Richards. Okay. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> so so let's talk about that. So. I don't know if you saw again. I'm, I'll call me call me crazy. At the far right hand side of this of that screenshot of that movie, we actually I kind of feel like we there was a chair and there was somebody missing in it. There again, this so comics is always six people in the Illuminati. There's okay, okay, people, okay. So 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 there wasn't like a missing. Oh, movie. okay, yeah, okay. I, I was, like that. It looked so there was rumors around, right? Rumors, right? Of course, what Marvel movie? There's rumors. Oh my god. Um, there was rumors that Tom Cruise is going to be the Iron Man in this movie that was rumored because of still sh- with captain marvel fighting wanda yeah well they didn't know it was wanda but it was yeah, captain yeah. marvel fighting. fighting yeah it looked like an iron man suit which i could kind of uh, see it with the red like tint you talking about with the, like those little iron man or the old the ultron no, no, no. Or, or captain marvel where she's fighting wanda and it has like the, oh and the, they're both like blasting energy oh they, they were saying that captain was marvel in the, in the back like, oh yeah, yeah. the marvel it wasn't um brie larson it was yeah I'm not even sure the actress's name. No, no, yeah, but, but it was short it was hair. Another, People yeah. assumed it was a male. Mm-hmm. They saw the suit that it just covers this because mm-hmm. there is a. I forgot which Iron Man it is in the comics. It's the Iron Man version where his uh, helmet only has a face around. Dang. So there's okay. rumors saying it was Iron Man that in the trailers it looked like an Iron Man. Yeah, and we of course, people assumed it was Spectrum from WandaVision. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I assumed um, it was uh, Monica Rambo. So there's yeah. a lot of. A lot rumors. of speculation. Yeah, a lot, a lot of speculation. A lot of rumors. Um, one of the major things here, of course, was I knew it. So, um, which we, I didn't mention to you because we were talking about it off camera or right before watching the Doctor Strange film. I was all like, I don't want to mention it to you, but I, I read um, before, right before uh, the spoilers or anything. This was like a few weeks in, uh, but I want to say like two weeks ago, um, director John Watts, who's director of the Spider-Man trilogy, um, came out and said i'm not gonna do fantastic four no more because yada yada, yada i'm tired of filming what is he doing right now he's filming a movie right now he's set up to do another movie not marvel related just another film i was like okay that's kind of weird why is he lying and saying he's he's literally gonna go pre-production for another film so then last night i said on the podcast saying i think he's gonna he's he's taking a hit kevin feige called him up and said hey hey John, I need you to take a hit for me, man. He's like, what do you mean? I was like, I-, I need you to take a hit. I need you to, like, just hold off. I got- I finally convinced John Krasinski to be in, uh, in Fantastic Four. He's going to be Reed Richards. But the only clause is he wants to direct the movie. And he's already signed on. He already signed on. I was like, yeah, okay, that's fine. I'll take a hit. You know, uh, th- that's totally fine. I kind of feel like that conversation happened. And this was like a week and a half ago, right before CinemaCon. And I was like, dude. It happened. Reed Richards, John Krasinski is Reed, Rich- Reed Richards, and this just shows that Kevin Feige listens to the fans, the fans man. Yeah, he does. The biggest, like one of the yeah. biggest fan castings ever. Got photoshopped images of it. Yeah, which looked pretty spot on, dude. Yeah, the yeah. Ones. Dude, I mean, he looked great in it. Obviously, he didn't last. I mean, he was just weakling. I don't even know what you want to call. It. Like he. That's he did. why. Like I felt like that was the climax of the film. Okay. That one fight scene. Really? Oh, yeah, that scene was stupid, Giddy. Like, it was disappointing. Again, yeah. I got because I had the climax of the film, not where it yeah. was, like, everything leading up to that point. Like, usually the climaxes. Mm-hmm. That was, I think, the most action packed. Definitely. Scene. More, most action packed violence, like, 
almost like a heart element there that I really did love. Yeah, that we never got in that in a Marvel movie. It, it was... ever. Not the blood gorge. Not even in Star Wars Rebels we or Clone Wars you got. Like, when people die in Clone Wars or Rebels, we just see them, like, feet away, right? Or they just get hit by a ship or something. Yeah, even, like, and, uh, even in Marvel movies, like... Yeah, there's not They really kill someone, like, they'll kind of, like, pan the camera away or they yeah. just fall over. E- even with the blood scenes that happened in Infinity War and, um, and Endgame, like... They kind of didn't. They didn't distinguish. There was a lot of blood. They didn't distinguish in detail. Like, oh crap, this guy went through something. We we just saw Agent Carter got cut in half. Like, when, freaking... yeah. And when this one we got in the beginning, we saw like Wanda like literally like igniting people. Yeah. Then we get that one girl where she destroys the tries stabbing the dark hole and she burns up. It's just kind of gory, <laughs> dude. That and was this good. scene like just with the blood alone took it to another level. Dude. Yes, man. I loved how like she literally got uh she got Darth mauled out. Uh, Agent Carter, <laughs> dude, she got cut in half, dude. Sick, dude. Dude, that yeah. was that was really good. So as soon as um, yeah. Black Bolt dies, which I was really upset about, dude, he, he <laughs> dude, he went out like he went out like nothing, man. Yeah. Dude, he was the first one. That was great, and I was excited to see him too. Yeah, yeah. He's, I an heard, inhuman. he's, he's an inhuman. Inhumans, right? Inhumans. Okay, yes. and I heard that show kind of was not flopped. good. That show flopped. But I don't think it was MCU technically. I think okay. it was on the time when like Runaways came out. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so it was ABC. Marvel licensed, but it yeah. wasn't MCU. It was like like ABC, Marvel Hulu. Cinematic I'm pretty sure it's on ABC and Hulu right now. But yeah, um, definitely, it was definitely cool because I feel like the Kevin Feige did that for the fans. They brought he brought in those ca- unless they already are in the in the comics. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, but Black Bolt, a major like staple for uh, Inhumans, and I was excited because we get X Men. Obviously, with Xavier, yeah. we get Inhumans. Uh, Black Bolt went out like so quick and so disappointing <laughs> dude but it was so cool like you can't yeah. be mad because it, it was so cool yeah same thing with um john krasinski yeah oh man like, he looks so i good. wish he would have done more dude like okay he reaches out and then he turns to like essentially i know spaghetti. i know like, just spaghetti yeah i wish he would like tried wrapping her around yeah or, like, or something throwing her something right black bolt i get because black bolt would have yeah annihilated her <laughs> yeah um, but I wish Reed Richards would have done a lot more because we saw Captain Marvel it, do a good amount of fight. Even yeah, G- um, Agent, Agent Carter. Carter. Yeah, exactly. Say. That makes that makes sense to me. So like John Krasinski is supposed to be right. Reed Richards. He's supposed to be this smart scientist. Um, and then he's elastic. Obviously, uh, um, the part where the scene where um, Scarlet Witch invades like the sorcerers mm-hmm. and they're all like kind of losing to her. Yeah, like when that scene was playing, I was thinking to myself, and it was funny because then we get the fight with the Illuminati later. I was like, I wonder if the Avengers would have been able to take her down. Because I was thinking, Mark like, Ruffalo will. Because she almost soloed uh, Thanos. And yeah. she's even stronger now than she was then. Yeah. So at this point now, like, let's say Tony Stark didn't die and, like, they had to intervene. I was thinking to myself, like, would they be able to stop her? I was like, they would have to. Like, they would have to. I mean, but then I saw the like, fight against Illuminati. They wouldn't have lasted. Even, dude. even it's crazy because we saw even Patrick Stewart go in her mind, and, and that dude, dude, that was sick. I was, I was just like, holy crap! And he just killed her like nothing. I mean, she, she killed him like nothing. Like that was insane. And you know what? I kind of feel like Kevin Feige did it on purpose, though, having the women survive because the men kind of saw like, oh, it's just a, it's just a woman, or women like, survive. I, yeah, like, or like they were. Remember how you said Reed Richards? went on and it was agent Carter oh, okay. Captain. like i kind of feel like that was on purpose because oh, the men I underestimated her kind of in, in 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 a way not patrick stewart but I kinda, again we just see when we see this character when you because i mean they didn't believe dr strange to begin with they didn't really yeah they didn't really believe him so they underestimated her yeah because they, and they like, paid, even captain marvel was like yeah. oh we'll stop her like when i mean about her. look at look at wanda wanda's still like had that not it wasn't mercy, right? Because obviously to Reed Richards, it wasn't mercy. But <laughs> but I mean, she said, "Just is her mother alive?" And then and then that's when you know he said yes. And I was like, "Oh, is Emily Blunt gonna show up? Is she invisible right now?" I was all like, it's, <laughs> yeah, um, "She's in, she's invisible the whole time." Sue Storm. Um, but yeah, I just yeah, this was so great. The fans are gonna love this. They're gonna cheer their hearts out. They're gonna be almost as good. It's gonna be great because this is. It, it, call this an endemic of the movies, guys, because, the, you know, we're coming I out of it. I think they got away with it. Yeah. And uh, Sam Marine went for that risk of, like, mutilating these characters. Yeah. Because they weren't from our universe. So yes. most likely we're not going to see them again. I'm excited for the Reed Richards casting. Yeah. Even though he dies. We're going to see him hopefully again. Hopefully, in we're our see universe, him again. it's the same person. So I'm curious to see. So now that Fantastic Four is another universe or maybe it's our well, okay okay well, our we're universe speculating. should have a Reed we're, richards okay. that's what i'm saying so like what if there isn't uh what if there isn't a Reed richards our universe but he comes um 
from another universe like universe that has Xavier there too. Essentially, it could bring in the X Men in that. In well, that's that, what I thought they yeah. were gonna do with Xavier. I thought it was gonna. Be, oh, I thought okay, okay. I thought when he was in her mind, he was. Gonna I was like, mention her as a mutant. I, was, I, I thought they're gonna do something so, to establish that mutants exist. So whenever Xavier walked in, I was hoping we might have got. I know he's not part of the Illuminati. Wolverine. Is that what no, you're no, 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 no. Uh, Magneto. That would have been. Dude, nice. that would have been so sick to see Magneto that, in there. And then um, with yeah. uh, Black Bolt. Because I was because they they mentioned the Terrigen Mist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrigen yeah. Mist um, oh, creates man. Inhumans. Oh, damn. I didn't know that. Yeah, so like, okay. if you get in the mist, you're either going to become like superhuman and inhuman, mm-hmm. you're going to become a monster, or it has no effect on you. You know, what would have been really good, again, we talk about the improvements, right, of this movie, like we're, like, you know, like we're the creative side of it, but um, I love how we thought, like, I was like, okay, Magneto would be in there. They would have been great if he would have been like, you know, I had a daughter once. Like, like, <laughs> like, 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 like just to play it off, like, you know, like, just to play it off, like how X-Men in, uh, um, what was it? Days of Future Past? Yeah, yeah you know, Days of Future Past, how they made, they paid it off. Uh, that would have been great. Just a little, just a little family drama. And laughter. that's why I rated it like what I did. Because again, I wanted more multiverse. I was hoping we would Dude, maybe yeah. see like just a glimpse of a quick X- I would have been happy to see some X Men. Yeah, like not they- just not just who we got. Like the X Men two characters. Yeah, the Cyclops. Yeah, like, Cyclops. Someone. The wa- uh, that's Ice why I was Man. Like, that was like, my biggest yeah, disappointment. Because we I'll, literally yeah. only saw three universes. Four, inc- if you include that, Doctor Strange. Well, we went through around the. Oh, if you, was, they glimpsed through. They them, glimpsed like, to him. Yeah, you're I right, mean, like you're right. visiting. Yeah, I wish we visited more. Like America accidentally sent them to. What if? What if? Oh, what if? Um, <laughs> what, what, what if they do a Disney Plus show that's just multiverse, where it's like Doctor Strange in a sense of that. So. And, th- yeah, and what's uh, let's talk about the end credit yeah. scene real quick. So the end credit scene, we see Doctor Strange with the middle eye. Which acknowledges that the the dark spirit is in him, I guess. Essentially, the dark code, like the dark the magic. dark magic is in him, so it's not destroyed. That what Wanda kind of thought she did, and so I'm so upset about that. Though I'm is not, not I'm upset. Dies. No, a claim she dies, right? A claim. It's, it's allegedly. I think she's dead, and I hope she's dead. Why? She was really strong, dude. She was too. Okay, strong. Okay, but that's the thing. No, like, dude, how are you gonna get rid of your A list actress, like, just like that? How are you gonna get rid of her like that? Uh, they, they have to. Dude, what? They, what are you talking? No, they, I they gotta go I, sometime. Dude, no. I don't want to see her for another decade. Yeah, like yes. Lisa, no. Yes, she needs she's to too be... strong. She's way too strong. To you be saw alive. her solo with the whole. I know, dude, team. Dude. Like, so when the bad guy comes exactly. in, they're not gonna need bro these... a shield around the world. No, Iron Man's I'm quote. Glad. Iron Man's I'm quote. A shield around the world. That did dude. nothing. We saw what the Ultron's did against uh, her. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> dude. She just wiped him. But she was too strong. Okay, she was way too strong. Like the power scaling wouldn't have made. I kind of feel like Sense. they kind of whenever whenever she died it, the camera went out and it showed the outside of the building back of my mind maybe she's alive somewhere there's another wand in another multiverse that's all i'm saying they yes. did that with gamora but that was different though that was a multiverse that was like time time remember with gamora in a, in a end game gamora they never showed her to die though yeah they, she they died never... in in uh in the the soul stone remember thanos oh yeah yeah so when she died that was essentially like another gamora they're gonna be like, oh, let's just bring her back. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh. yeah, yeah. So something like that. Maybe they could bring back the old Wanda, but they don't have the time stone, so it's kind of hard. No, yeah, no, dude, that. come on, no. I don't want Wanda back. Oh too strong. Too strong. man, dude, come on, bro, come on, bring her back in another more time. We know she exists, guys. So bring she already her back. got past that emotional trauma. We're not gonna see no more acting like that again. Well, that's what I'm saying. Get another Wanda from another no, multiverse within a multiverse, and then get it's another. Get the Tobey Maguire Spider Man finish off his franchise. Yeah, get, the 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 franchise. get the Andrew Garfield. Get the Andrew Garfield Spider Man. Get him back and just finish his last one movie. Uh, get them all to complete just one movie. Get, you know what? Create a Spider-Man movie called Spider-Man 3.5 with Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. Their multiverses are colliding and have the villains versus them two. Ooh, bro. Bro, we money. We literally just saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. We literally just saw that, but yeah. But oh, man. I, but- I, it's Again, talking about Disney+, Plus. all the shows are doing. They're, just, they're doing a lot of shows. Yeah. I, I wonder how it's going to tie into the next Avengers film. Like. <sighs> it- yeah. The first well, Avengers, we had six heroes. The yeah. second one, we're doing a few more. So, so Kevin Feige went on CinemaCon this past weekend, uh, last weekend, and he did announce they have plans for the next 10 years 
of Marvel movies. Well, I'm assuming that's another and Marvel Avengers co- trilogy. That's the next phase. Yeah, and then Marvel films slash he did say series too. So with that being said and everything, obviously the series are going to go straight to Disney+. Plus. Um, with that being said, like knowing that he has a plan, it kind of rest assured like, hey guys, trust in Kevin Feige. I think they're stuff. milking it. I think they're milking it, dude. So what do you think they should do next? I mean, it's kind of hard. I think they got to chill out with the shows. I know that's Disney Plus's. That's all they bread gotta do. That's I mean, dude, like they're but, using, they're they, so HBO right now. If you don't know, HBO is actually winning subscribers right now by they're beating Disney Plus and Disney Plus launched before them. Right now, it's subscribers right now they're beating them. HBO is for whatever reason because HBO has more than just DC. It's not the DC. It's not the just the DC. It's Euphoria. the it, it's they the, have yeah. Shows. They have yeah, good, good shows. shows. Yeah, a good adult shows. That, that Disney can't accommodate for that. But now they're trying to with all the Marvel Obi-Wan stuff, which people stuff. got upset about because you're like, oh, why is Daredevil on there? Why, all the parents, why is it? Okay, whatever. Oh my God, my, oh my God, Daredevil's on. My child could watch that. My child could learn a cuss word. Come on, it's cool. I mean, just regardless, regardless, right? Regardless of the situation, um, they're losing subscribers because of that. So what do you think they should do? How many shows a year then? I don't care about... The shows are good, but my issue is the movies. Okay. We're going to get Avengers... The next Avengers, whatever you yeah. want to call it. Next Avengers, new Avengers. Like, who's going to be... They're killing off the old characters. Scarlet Witch, Captain America, Iron Man. I think in Thor, Love, and Thunder, I think we're going to lose Thor. You better shut your... We get Jane You Foster. better shut up your mouth, dude. No, in the trailer, no. we get Jane Foster. Yeah, I know, but no. We, we Guardians not... was set up to be a you trilogy. We're going to lose Star-Lord and the Guardians. You know what's funny that you mentioned that, though? Um, about a year or two ago, this was during the pandemic, Chris Hemsworth said, you know, it's tough going on that diet. Um, I had to get it's back hard. on a diet. Yeah, it's, hard. it's hard. It's tough. It's taking a that's toll why, on my life. Uh, Hugh that's Jackman. why. Yeah, Hugh Jackman, Hugh Jackman to quit. Chris Evans. That's why they were just and not Iron Man, but like Chris Evans, because they had to m- maintain. maintain that mobility. Yeah, like dude. the belt. So now they're older. So it's yeah, they're older. It so it's it's harder. harder it's harder for them. They have to be on a strict. So not diet. that I want to lose Thor. Yeah. But again, okay. And they're replacing all these Avengers. Again, we're gonna get Jane Foster's version of Thor. Yeah. We're getting. I think the Iron Heart series coming soon. That's gonna replace Iron Man. And then the oh the Captain America one, which is the Winter or uh, the new Captain America. He's oh, gonna be the Winter yeah. Falcon, Winter Soldier, Winter Falcon. Um, okay, there you go. But okay, so first Avengers again. This is a new phase. Yeah, I think this new is phase. A, this totally. should this should have been a reset. Yeah, this was Marvel's chance to do a reset. I feel like because of the situation, rest in peace was Black. They were they. I could have sworn they said it at one point where Black Panther was gonna be the new leader and Captain mm-hmm. America was gonna like he black. They were gonna run it off of Black I'm Panther not sure that. to run to like run that. the whole. The next phase with Black Panther as the leading leading it in a sort of speak the next Black Panther movie, and with the situation that we're dealing with, you know, right now, rest in peace, uh, Chadwick Boseman. But like everything that's happening right now, kind of escalated plans, kind of mixed everything up. Pandemic happened, so it's it's tough right now, right? So right now, it feels to me like doing like a female Avengers. Okay, we're getting the Marvels. Yeah, we're getting Jane Foster, Thor. Uh, yeah, we're getting Iron Heart, female versions of every Avenger. I think this is gonna be like that one scene in Endgame where it's yeah. all the girls. Yeah, that's what it looks like the setup. But again, they're doing too many shows. They're getting She Hulk. Mm-hmm. So first Avengers, I think was like the second best Avengers film. Okay, got. and yeah. that was a small cast, six heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Second one, same thing. Yeah, it was only really until Infinity War and Endgame we got the big cast. We got the big, yeah. This next Avengers we get. It's gonna have a big cast. If you include Moon Knight, if you include yeah. She Hulk show we're getting, yep. if you include all the Doctor Strange is already yep. established, Ant Man. That's my problem. My issue right now. Uh, yeah. It's, the cast is too big. Like oh, you're gonna have to get screen time for every character. Mm-hmm. There's not gonna be like a main hero like the other one where it's kind of um Iron Man. Or the main four real. or whatever. The you know what OG, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be hard to do that. Because you're gonna have so many fan favorites. Right yeah. Now. They're yeah, exactly especially right now. Yeah. My issue, my biggest issue, talking multiverse is Spider Man. Okay. Ooh. Everyone forgot Spider Man. Was that Sony's way of saying MCU is not going to be Spider Man anymore? That was my biggest issue. I thought about it after yeah. I saw Spider Man. Yeah, I'm like everyone forgot Spider Man. He made his suit out of cloth. Yeah, because I'm assuming it's um, not the Iron Man. I'm yeah. assuming the AI didn't recognize him either. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming. it's not. So was that Sony's way of saying like, "Hey, we're taking Spider Man back." It could be true because this completes the trilogy. Maybe that's the trilogy of the MCU and the Sony deal that completes it. And Sony's butchering and, it. And, and, but, and so and and they're trying to launch their others, their <laughs> other own Sony first Sony, Marvel. Spider universe. Yeah, yeah. Which more? Which Morbius? You know, as much as everyone like <laughs> Morbius was. We're getting. It wasn't uh, terrible. What's the next one we're getting with Bad Bunny. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh terrible. man. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get me started. Okay. But back yeah. to Multiverse of Madness. Like yeah. 
awesome film. Spoilers. People die. Yeah. They established a the multiverse. So yeah. We know the multiverse exists. We have America Chavez. She could bring... Something different. Something different. I, I, I actually like their on, on-screen time with each other with uh, Cumberbatch. And it, it felt it felt very natural. It really did. Marvel was doing so much, dude. Yeah. I, we don't know if they're going to Celestials. We don't know if we're, they're going to, like... It, it's it's Galactus a, with Fantastic Four rumored. It, it's an open can of worms that we, they can't control because the worm there's just so much. They can't control, yeah. but they're they're bringing in the money. Like we can't deny it. Yeah. They're bringing in the money. Yeah. We're watching it. Yeah, <laughs> We're yeah, buying yeah, it. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. It's it's just kind of it's gonna be kind of confusing, especially for the average moviegoer, because they're gonna be like, wait, so you're telling me Fantastic Xavier just died? I thought they're making a Fantastic Four movie. Like it, it's it's gonna confuse a few people yeah, that is. don't know. Like, it really um, is. It really is off the bat. It really is. Um, and to really explain it all, it's kind of like, oh, what the Fantastic, Fantastic Four movie's happening, and then Michael B. Jordan is not. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Johnny, he's Kilmore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Chris Evans is not <laughs> the same character. Oh man, nah, yeah. like they're gonna be like, what is that, Captain America? That's H- that's Agent Carter from the What If. Is that- that's what I thought we're gonna get a lot of the What If series to that's live what it action. Like in the trailers, that's- yeah, that's in what the I thought. trailers that Doctor Strange again yeah. at the end look like. This- yeah. The one from what if? Because even the building, like, mm. kind of disappearing. Yeah, looked and, like the what if? Yeah, Captain Carter. Yeah, we assumed. Oh, we got to see the what if series to watch this, and it was the different one. Yeah, and at the very end, to talk about that scene at the very end, um, where we saw the last end credit scene, which we saw a famous Bruce actress. Campbell. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the famous actress was uh, Charlie Stern. Uh, which we don't know who she is, right? I so, don't recall. Okay. But what what world were you saying that like it looks like they're going? It into? looks like it's Dorm Dormammu's Which like is little first one, the, void the void where there's yeah, no time like nothing no exists. So, so that's what it looks like. Where can they like? Why would they go there like, to get more power? I, I mean, know. it doesn't make any sense, right? To why would you be in a timeless area? Oh, because he was he he created a what do they call it? Insurgents. Of oh. reality, so they're gonna go correct his wrong. That's what it sounded like. Okay, so we got we got to see because at the end it was like Doctor Strange will return, like they always do. I want to know if if he's returning in a series or he's returning in a movie, in a movie, or his own movie, because they or the team up movie. Yeah, they haven't said anything. I don't know. We got the same thing with Shang Chi. Shang Chi. Because in the in the interview in the Hollywood yesterday on Monday, uh, Cumberbatch did say, "I want to take a break from filming." So with him wanting to take a break, it's like. Uh, Marvel, you How better, you better get, get ahead of this. You better get ahead of this because I guarantee you, a lot of people are not going to want to wait that long. Like they're not, and um, and and especially of of a movie of his magnitude because everything's CGI. Everything's CGI, yeah. pretty much. Like you can't like. I mean, besides this costume, like everything he does is CGI. It's a CGI movie, just like Thor. You know, Thor's a CGI movie. Um, everything he does, it's magic or whatever. You know, it's it's all magic. So, you know, it's not Captain America where it's cable. Yeah, where it's like cable stunts, all that stuff. That's that's workable. But knowing that Cumberbatch is all all CGI, you need to get ahead of this Marvel and figure out, okay, we need to film that next movie if he is going to take a break. Because rumor has it he does want to take a break. He said it a few times. He wants to take a break. A little mini break. Not a long one, but at least, I would assume at least. Well, he like, has the money now. Yeah, so yeah. Take the vacation, I, yeah. Like. At least I would say at least six months. And that six months, though, could cause a movie delay. If Marvel was trying to put a movie out, it would cause a movie to be delayed at least a year. I don't think we're going to get him again soon. Yeah, it was yeah. a while since we got Doctor Strange the first. Yeah, time. and and I miss it, man. I miss seeing Doctor Strange, man. I miss having him in old movies. I miss him with Wong. I'm, I'm, you know, I miss Spider Man. Yeah, I mean, I, I just I miss Doctor Strange. I'm not gonna lie. He's Ben De Cumberbatch is one of my favorite actors in the cinema world. So I love seeing his face on, so in, my on only, the camera. On um, Multiverse Madness, obviously after Spider Man, uh, after WandaVision. Yeah, is it after Shang Chi. Do you say it again? Is it after Shang Chi. Timeline wise, because the end of Shang Chi, the post credit scene, they're examining his little rings, and it's, it's before Wong examining. Him. It's before. I want to say it's before No Way Home. Hmm. I want to say I, I'm again. I'm basing that off of the release dates they they released them in. Um, and Eternals, obviously, that's 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 like the past, but like our present time. No, the Eternals. It's it's like the past after and, Thanos. 
and then after Th- oh you're right you're right so it's the past first and then it goes to after thanos yeah it was like yeah, way yeah. past yeah yeah okay yeah 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 so but, then, okay so those timelines I, i'm just curious they're gonna they're gonna hey, dude it's like that one uh was it sunny in philadelphia is it sunny in philadelphia or it's not sunny in philadelphia where um he's just like yeah the timeline is all it's like star wars dude. Oh, yeah, it's, it's like star it's wars so where he's just like dude it's all it's all crazy it's all crazy but so that's what i'm saying with ching chi it's ching chi's yeah. post credit scene they're examining the rings and yes. shows Bruce Banner, Wong, and Wong, yeah. Captain Marvel. Examine them. No one gets it. Well, I mean, that makes sense now. Never mind. It could be. Well, it could, because that, Wong is the Sorcerer Supreme. Yes, but that could be. That could be after Infinity War. I mean, between Infinity War and No Way Home. And and no, because no, when, when, when um. No, no, no. It was after the blip. Oh, it was after it. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Well, no, because when I saw saying she, my concern was was why is Wong. Helping him examine. You're right. Yeah. But now that it makes sense because he's the Sorcerer Supreme. Sorcerer Supreme. Yeah. That makes sense. Dude, now. we keep forgetting. Yeah. Because they don't forgetting. establish that in, in Chang Chi. Yeah, they don't. They yeah. Establish it in Spider Man. Yeah, true, true. So now I get it. Okay, makes sense. Never mind. Yeah. Is again though. See, I'm telling you, man, this is confusing even for us. It just gets a little multiverse, just confuses everybody. It confuses everything. But it yeah. Is. It does, and we we'll got the animated world. Yeah, that? dude, dude <laughs> that was cool. That was Spider Man. Cool. We might see Miles Morales. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was cool, man. That was cool. I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see where uh, Spider to the Spider Verse. It's coming out very soon. Uh, next, well, not no more very soon. It's coming out next year. But yeah, I'm excited, guys. Thank you so much once again. Any final thoughts? Uh, no, definitely go watch this movie. Go watch it. It's super yes. good. Um, be cautious, your kids. I don't know how young you take them to yeah. watch Marvel movies. Now, like, usually I take the baby, and we didn't this time. is because um, we didn't get our tickets and whatever. But this movie, I mean, I wasn't scared. But it had scary yeah. things. It had, it had the vibe. scary elements. Yeah. The picture moving. Like, the jump. it had jump scares. Yeah, yeah. Like, Sam the Raimi, eeriness. Man, like you. It, it, I could see some people getting scared. Yeah, definitely. Even casual moviegoers. It, it, so yeah. just caution with that. It's a yeah. little warning definitely definitely you guys all right guys if you have not already thank you so much for staying tuned with us for this long guys i really do appreciate it and if you have not already hit that subscribe button as always i'm your host ryan d ryan 680 and one at cloud x catch you later guys stay safe san antonio check you later peace baby